feel me? It's the biggest wop, big wop deal. We chilling with All Bay Music Magazine, street certified TV. You feel me? Big wop. All Bay Music Magazine, street certified TV. Let them know who you are. Big wop deal, you feel me? The biggest wop. Keep the biggest wop on me, you feel me though? Straight out of South Sac, Iraq, Valley High to be exact. Okay. Nine, seven, eight, Valley High, South Sac. D, Valley High, South Sac. Okay. So, how, how did you get your stage name? Really, <clears throat> really came off my government name for real. It was kind of close to that, so. But my biggest inspiration, my idol I really look up to always been Gucci Man. You feel me? He always been Wap this, you feel me? And all that type shit. So I, I ran with it, Wap Dale, you feel me? Okay. All right. And uh, so how did, when did you start actually making music? Like six months ago, for real. Like you literally tried rapping six months ago or like been rapping I ain't gonna lie, I've been rapping since like I've been fucking around for since a little nigga since I was like thirteen. You feel me? I've been rapping, playing around, everybody was telling me I always been cool, you feel me, or good at the shit, like, damn bro, you you good for real, you feel me? So but I never really took it serious because that wasn't my lane for real, you feel me? I was too worried about other what? shit going on, you feel me? What was it? I really I really started I really started taking this rap shit serious about like yeah, six months ago. Bro. Gotcha. But creatively, you've been having fun with it for about seven years. For sure. That's dope. For sure. And in when in the last seven years, did you ever record any song, or was that all in six months? I probably recorded one or two songs before six months ago. Ever in my life. What was the earliest age that you recorded your first song? How about that? 14. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's how everybody kind of, you gained the reputation quickly, I guess, it was from that first one. What was the name of the song? Can we find it online? Uh, I don't know. It's on SoundCloud somewhere. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So it's there. They can find it. Mm -hmm. that's the, so basically, we just scroll down to the SoundCloud. We'll find your first one. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, it's on my partner SoundCloud for real. Oh, okay. We made it in his uh, we made it in his garage. So yeah. I forgot what that shit was called though. That's dope. Okay. And so uh What city are you from? Sacramento. Sacramento. Born and raised. Yeah. Never live anywhere else? I lived in Georgia for a minute. Okay. Yeah. What part? Uh, Atlanta. Okay. How old were you when you lived in Atlanta? Probably about I lived out there when I was like Five, six, then I came back out here because I was born out here. I moved out there and I came back after I was like seven, six. Okay. So you you, you have a, you have at least some memories out there. Sure. Okay. Um, do you have any releases out right now that you feel like people should know about? I got a bunch of features out right now. Me and my little brother Kelly Bo, money making Kelly Bo. Shout out Kelly Bo. You feel me? Yeah, me and him got a song called Hide and Seek out on YouTube. Y'all go stream that, go run that up. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so you got a bunch of singles right now? I got a bunch of uh, features right now. Features. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So you I like mean, rapping I'm with the artists? I'm taking them and I'm take, dropping by the end of this month, for sure. What's the name of the tape? Wapovich. Like Greg Wap Wapovich, Wapovich. Wapovich. <laughs> that's a dope, that's a dope name. How many how many songs can we expect on the album? Seven. Seven songs. Mm -hmm. You got any other projects you're working on? Seven songs. Man. I got a whole album I'm trying to put together for real, but I'm really just working on this one song called Black Man Army. Mm -hmm. I want to put all my funds into that song to make it as big as I can possibly get it. Gotcha. In case people don't know that side of me, you feel me? It's a different type of style song. You feel me? I'm really versatile, so people don't know that side of me. So I want to do something big with that song. Video, I want a camera to shoot a movie for that song. Okay. So when you say versatile, like what you sing in rap too, or? I can. Okay. I can for sure. Nice. I can if I wanted to. Okay. Hell yeah. You got any music videos out with any of the featured songs that you have? For sure, yeah, for sure. I got about three, four music videos out. Okay. Me and Kai Steve, she, she locked up right now. You feel me? Free my brother, though. You feel me? 
he locked up. He really pushed me to start doing this rap shit too, for real. And he really started me like, bro, little bro, you gotta get in the studio with me right now. You know, you bullshit. Yeah, that's where it goes. Ain't no time but now. Yeah. Now so. it's crazy that I'm getting weed locked up at the time. Now I'm buzzing and shit. You feel me? I'm getting there buzzing for real. And the city is taking over for real. I'm on my way up for real. You know? So it's just kind of crazy how this shit play out. You feel me? Sounds like he's blessed because he's going to come home and he's going to have one of his partners in position and you helped, you know, start that. You helped start it. That's dope. And that's dope that you will mention it too. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people, they don't like give credit where it's due, even on the small shit, you know what I'm saying? But you you actually acknowledge that, you know, he, he, put, he put the fire in you a little bit. That's dope. Um, what, so outside of him... Well, yeah, I guess you said Gucci Man inspired you. Is there any other artist that you feel like inspired you? Hell no. Nah. When your homie and Gucci, that's nah, it, huh? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> nah, the one person for real, Rio, the young OG for real. He inspired oh, yeah, me don't. a lot. Yeah, he's my nigga. Okay. I'm for that man, too. I mean, he made great music. Okay, okay. Where do you see yourself five years from now? Five years from now, I see myself surpassing a lot of these big ass rappers. Cash, XXL, all that type of shit. You feel me? I feel like I feel like I could be one of them, one of them, them little baby types, and one of the people that we need on the song. You feel me? I, people already paying me for features. You feel me? So I already see where this shit going. Yeah. Is there any artists you want to work with, or or even like even cities you feel like you want to conquer outside of <coughs> California? So, being that you've been in it six months, have you been able to avoid rap beef since you hit the scene? For surely, I ain't, I ain't rap beef with nobody. <laughs> what is a rap beef? <laughs> right. That's good. That's good because it, it it don't it don't propel you into anything good. You know, surely. you don't you don't you don't make more money. You make less money. There's really nothing good about it. That's something that I always admired about Jay Z, like he might have done a rap battle on some friendly shit with someone like Nas, but that's the only person worthy of the reply is somebody <coughs> of that stature, basically. And it's not revolved around street shit. It's a, it's about the art of you know music. So that's dope. That's dope. Definitely. Since since you have uh, obviously been buzzing with these new songs. Uh, you know, how do you deal with, because obviously you get a lot of, you know, compliments and, you know, all that, but it also comes with a little bit of hate. How, how have you, how have you been dealing with the hate? Man, I've been hating on my whole life, so that shit don't really faze me. You know what I mean? That shit, that shit boosts me up for real. Like, damn, niggas talking about me that much. <laughs> you feel me already? To be coming on my page hating, coming on my phone hating, you feel me? That shit feel, make me feel wonderful. You want some tunnel vision shit right now? That's tight. That's tight, man. I could feel I could feel your focus in just your replies. Like that's big. You know what I'm saying? You don't get what you want without being focused. Sure. You know what I'm saying. Um. So, obviously, you're interested in entertainment. Is there anything you know outside of you know being an artist that interests you in the entertainment industry, or are you kind of just mainly focused right now on building your music career? I mean, eventually I want to be a CEO. I want to sign people to my label. I want to be able to, you feel me, make other people rich, put other people on game when I die. You feel me? So that's just how the cycle goes. You feel me? So I would want somebody to do that for me. Like like Debo, shout out Debo. You feel me? Debo's been doing that for me ever since I met the nigga. You feel me? So I would want to recycle that. You feel me? Just keep the cycle going. Stuff. But otherwise than that, nah. I mean, about your guys here, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? They seem like they're here to really support you, man. That you know. We done seen this nigga 
start from the ground up, you feel me, from being sleeping in cars and hella shit. So to see him on his grind and, and doing this shit, that's just it's big for us. So we just here supporting like we've been from the start. So this shit is regular. So see him going up to just make us proud. You feel me, older than him, so it's like some big brother shit. You feel me, so. Always That's been around older niggas though. You feel me? This nigga fucking twenty four. This nigga twenty three. You feel me though? It's like I'm just turned twenty. You feel me? I'm Get that little extra notch. You feel me? I'm always been around older. I've always been around older niggas. You feel me? So I've always been laced with games. You feel me? Ever since I was fourteen, fifteen. You know what I'm saying? I'm dead. So I'm about to put his foot down and go crazy. He got the talent. You feel me? I'm dancing. You feel me? So. I've been telling him, like, bro, put your foot down, you feel me? He wasn't taking it serious. He didn't really give a fuck about it. It's like a year ago. Man, I remember really talking to him on the table every day, like, oh, what you doing? You feel me? What you doing? Like, you go crazy, you feel me? Like, nigga, stop playing. But now you see, now you see, you feel me? Now he got his foot on niggas' necks right now, you feel me? And he's doing his thing, you feel me? One, one, thing, one thing that I can relate to. And you should never be ashamed of it, right? But like, like part of me having to put my foot down on my own career, I didn't slept in cars my damn self. Yeah. I didn't even been in this music career where I couldn't even like I had a business deals in other cities and I couldn't even afford a damn room. Like, right. and I just like trap it out, like you know what I'm saying. So, you know, you gotta want it that bad. Yeah. That's yeah. part of it. You know, it, that's definitely part of the journey. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's yeah. dope. That's dope, man. Uh, where can people find you? Shit, you feel me? Just on YouTube right now until this tape drop. Okay. okay. IG for real. Wapdale, you feel me? I'm going up. I ain't gonna lie. It's six months ago, like I said, I had about 700 followers. I had 700 followers about six months ago. Now I got six point something K. You feel me? So it's like, yeah. This shit just jumped ever since. I'm gonna be getting videos on my page, 50,000 views. 40,000, 30,000, I'm like, damn. That's love. I'm rapping in the car. Like, I ain't even, you know what I mean? That's right. That's tight. The ground floor. Hell yeah. So, Wapdale, how do you spell that for us? Just so I, the, w- the, the, the viewers know and they can find you. W-O-P-D-E-L-L. Wapdale. Okay. That's tight. All together, no space. You hear me? The big Wap. Biggest Wap. Do you have any last words or shout outs you want to give to the fans, the people, your family, the haters, everybody? Shout out to the haters. You feel me? I love y'all. Keep doing y'all thing, man. Y'all motivate the hell out of me. And shout out Wackart. Your fan, huh? Big fan. The biggest Wack. The biggest fan. I love it. <laughs> All right, there it is.